Now I wanted to talk about a uh, suction line filter dryer. We know that a liquid line filter dryer goes installed in the liquid line. So when you think about it, a suction line filter dryer would be installed on the suction line. Now what does a filter dryer do? A filter dryer, first of all, is going to filter and then it's going to dry. So to dry, what does it mean to dry? To dry means to absorb the moisture, to remove the moisture. It's just like when you take your clothes and you put them in the dryer or you hang them out to dry. What happens? Well, all of the moisture is taken out of them and the clothes are dry. Same thing with this. It's going to remove the moisture. But the difference is that here, this is going to trap it. It's not going to take it out of the system, but it's going to trap it inside the dryer. So the filtering part is just like a car filter. What does a car filter do? Well, it traps the air so it does not get into the engine. So on a liquid line filter dryer, basically, you're going to have something that looks like this. Refrigerant is going to be going in here, and it's going to be 100% vapor. Coming out is also going to be 100% vapor. In here we're going to have the desiccant. We're going to have what's going to dry, what's going to trap the moisture. And like we said, that's going to go back out. Here we're going to filter. We're going to trap all the trash that's in the system. Because like it or not, we get stuff in the system when we install it, when we do the installation, or when we replace a part or something, we get you know, little pieces of dirt in there. So we want to make sure that they don't get to the compressor. They don't get to the metering device. That's why we need to filter what's in there. <clears throat> but when the dirt gets up in here, it clogs it up, just like your air filter. What happens? Well, refrigerant comes in and refrigerant goes out, but now you have a restriction here. Because you have a restriction, well, what's going to happen? Your pressure is going to be different on this side than it is on that side. These connections right here, they are so that you can put a gauge on there. So now we're going to read a pressure here, read a pressure here, or you can take the pressure here and then move it over to the other side. So let's say that refrigerant is traveling in this direction and we have 68 PSIG. We have 68 PSIG here. This is creating a restriction because that's creating a restriction. The pressure on this side now it's going to be, let's say, 64. It's 64, so now we see that that's a lower pressure. We have 68 minus 64. That gives us 4 pounds of pressure difference. Because we have the pressure difference, we know that this dryer is bad. This dryer needs to be replaced. So now what we can do is just take the dry, cut the, light, the dryer out and put a new one in. There's more to it than just that, but we need to replace this and put a new one in. Once we put a new one in, we're going to notice that now both pressures will be the same. So to test to see if the dryer needs to be replaced, a suction line filter dryer needs to be replaced, you would check the pressure on one side, check the pressure on the other side. If there's a pressure difference, then you know that dryer needs to be replaced. Now, on the liquid line, we said that it's by temperature. How come we don't have a temperature drop on this one like we do on the liquid line? Well, because this is already 100% liquid, 100% vapor. This is 100% vapor, and it's coming out as 100% vapor. On the liquid line, we had 100% liquid coming in, some of it flashed off. When it flashed off, that gave us the flash gas and that dropped the temperature. On here, we're already as gas. We're already as a vapor, so there's nothing to flash off. Can't flash off. We do have a pressure drop, so we need to hook up the gauges to see if we do have a pressure drop. If there's a pressure drop, three or four pounds of pressure difference, then that dryer needs to be replaced. Again, uh, this is Julio from Aircon Academy. I hope you enjoy this. Take a look at my webpage, airconacademy.com, or look me up on YouTube. You can uh, see some of these videos on there.
Thank you.